Welcome back guys, we're almost to the final quest, but we'll go ahead and do some of these optional things first. I'll make a cut here, and I'll see you guys afterwards. Have you just Amazing. polished that armor, was it? Of course. I bet those traitors Isn't that a little... will just conveniently what? lose their Nothing. transport to Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. Aloy. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry, I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting stops. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Now that Prince Ethelman has returned to Meridian, is the war well and truly over? So basically the beginning of the end is starting and they're still working on their preparations. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. 
I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. It was only a matter of time before an awesome tried to kill the Sun King. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. You're the hunter from the Banu Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. The sun king's grown too soft. Too much foster on in for Alita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs. Anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Prince Eatman is alive and well in Meridian. The Carter and Shadow have been proven. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luthid? As many as I have to. I love it when you Couldn't say things like that. It's rest. so... What? Cheerful. <sighs> Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Traitors, the whole tribe of them. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. She delights in goading me, like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then, Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid.
Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. Okay, so what do we have to shoot? Of course I gotta screw this up. Now this thing is dangerous. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. See some yellows in the background. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. From Sunfall. Enough, woman. Watch out for the Asaram merchants. They'll as soon cheat you as look at you. All right, now apparently I miss Nile back there. He's supposed to be by the little creek. He's supposed to be a little further down than Nakoa and Geneva were. I didn't realize he was there until after I recorded this. Nice view. That's kind of odd that they would make a place like this and have nothing in it.
size is taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The Anointed? War Chief Sona. War Chief, you... you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the Metal Devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the Sacred Land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a Metal Devil, because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. This is kind of a nice place. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja... How tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's going to be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! iron! And what are we going to do? Hit them like, like a hammer till they, they can't, can't hit back! back. Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win.
They're still working on their final preparations with only three days left. On the video here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.